Com. Welcome, welcome to the Legal Lounge here on CRN Digital Talk Radio, crntalk.com, streaming live coast to coast and around the world on crntalk.com, also available in stunning high-definition video on facebook.com forward slash crntalk. Tiki Live, also on CRN's custom-built Roku channel, available for free in the Roku store, and of course on crntalk.com. I'm joined, as always, by the one and the only, an active attorney, U.S. Army veteran, a jurist doctorate in law, undergraduate degree in physics, and author of a book that has proven to be a guideline for the Supreme Court now and in the future. That book, America, An Illusion of Freedom, is available on Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, and on iTunes. So, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Richard Nixon and the show that gives you the news you get nowhere else. How are you, Richard? Yes, I'm doing fine, Mike, and how are you? I expect you're doing very well. Very well. Thank you very much, Skeen. Um I think what we we're going to start with today, if I'm not mistaken, is a couple of situations or results in the Baldwin matter, Menendez, and so on. And you could go ahead and introduce that, if you will. Yeah, we got a big show today. We're going to talk about, of course, uh, Alec Baldwin, some big breaking news that happened earlier in the week. We're going to talk about Bob Menendez, uh, who is uh, his, his trial is out to the jury. We're going to talk about uh, maybe getting a little bit of a home distilling law, which I never thought we'd yes. discuss on this show. But let's, uh, let's first start with uh, one President Joseph Robinette Biden, because... Of course, the fallout from the d disastrous debate and the equally disastrous George Stephanopoulos uh, interview is still reverberating around the country. I believe the count right now, as it stands, is that the, the 20 Democrats, uh, 19 House members and one United States senator have asked him to step aside. Uh, good news for Mr. Uh, Biden is that Bernie Sanders came out with a vocal support of him today. But uh, oh, yeah, right. it's been a little bit tough watching the man. Um, it is. He had several faux pas. Well, what were some of those faux pas, Richard? Well, when he meant to introduce Zelensky from Ukraine, he actually called him Mr. Putin. That's embarrassing. And then uh, later on, he called his vice president Mr. Trump. That's embarrassing as well. I don't know if he said Mr. He just said Vice President Trump. Yeah, he did. And then the third one, he called one of his generals the commander in chief. Yeah, I don't like that either. Uh, Interestingly enough, though, he I think he caught himself right afterwards. Oh, oh wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't as though it went unsaid. But what, what he's showing now is that he cannot function outside a teleprompter. And what amazes me is why those people who want him to remain as running against Trump in the Democratic Party, why in the hell did I, they put him— in a debate with Mr. Trump where he didn't have any papers to read off. Or, a, or, ridiculous. A, or not only that, Richard, uh, it was his campaign, the Biden campaign, that that uh, just that they negotiated, they demanded I know that, that there wouldn't be any crowds in there. And obviously, I mean, we saw the rally that Mr. Biden had uh, the other night in, yeah. in your old stomping grounds in Detroit, where he was quite did, did quite well because he can feed off that crowd energy. Yes, and if he can read it, I, I've done it before, in our other shows, I give him a 95 when it comes to performance. And if I didn't know that the guy was a God, GD liar, <laughs> I'd vote for him. Nice catch. You can cut but uh, my point is, if he's reading, he's a good reader. Yeah. And by putting, by juxtaposing those two things, the debate one day and his reading a teleprompter the next day, all they did was amplify the fact that the man can't function on his own. Yeah, stick around, you guys. We're going to talk more about one uh, Joseph Robinette Biden right after the break. Once again, thank you so much for uh, watching and listening. And check out Richard's fantastic book, America, An Illusion of Freedom, available on Amazon.com, Barnes Noble, and on iTunes. Stay with us. Savor the past and savor the glory days of Las Vegas. Enjoy 70 years of true Las Vegas history as four generations of family wait to greet you at the legendary Bootlegger Italian Bistro. Wine, dine, and experience Mama Maria's award-winning original recipes while surrounded by original family photos and celebrity memorabilia. Enjoy piano artistry nightly with music from the great American 
American Songbook in our main formal dining room. The Bootlegger Italian Bistro, open 24-7, 7700 Las Vegas Boulevard South. In the entertainment capital of the world, the Bootlegger Italian Bistro, open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 7700 Las Vegas Boulevard South, in the entertainment capital of the world. It's Vegas, baby. And we are back in the Legal Lounge. Thank you so much for joining us. All past and previous sessions of this high-quality broadcast are available on Rumble. Find CRN Digital Talk on that platform, as well as YouTube, and also as Facebook, facebook.com forward slash CRN Talk. All right, Richard. So there's been lots of calls that for Biden to step aside, and not from the Trump campaign, though, or Trump supporters, because no. they know they got him in the bag. Yes. But uh, you, you and I were talking before about how maybe a graceful way for Mr. Biden to leave office uh, early. What do you think? I think so. And he actually said it the other day, um, yesterday, I guess. Um uh, I'm not sure it was intentional. He may have just been talking because one of the reporters asked him, Mr. Biden, would you stay, uh, continue to run for office if you knew that the vice president or someone else could do a better job in terms of going after Mr. Trump and, and beating him? And he said no, first of all, to her. And then he said, the only way I'd leave if it's someone could show me that there's no way I can win. Now, I think that was a nice way of saying, and again, whether he was put up to say that or whether he just thought it on his own, it would be, in my mind, a gra very graceful exit to say, you know what, people, I've, uh, I've recognized, I'm convinced now that given the situation uh, and maybe my possible health problems, there's no way I could beat Mr. Trump, nor could I last a whole four years. So I am gracefully, in the interest of what's doing the best for this country, not myself, but for this country, I've decided to step aside and let the people who think that they can do better than I can— uh, let them put someone else up in my stead. Well, and there's there's precedent for that. Lyndon Baines Johnson yes. did the exact same thing in 1968. He knew that he would not win because of his stance on Vietnam. Yes. And uh, what he did is his his vice president at the time, Hubert Humphrey, right. was jumped into the race. But what uh, LBJ did is he's like, all right, I'm not going to endorse necessarily endorse yes. anybody. Because every, everybody knew pretty much that uh, Robert Kennedy, uh, RFK, who was running for president at that time would have won, and if not for Sirhan Sirhan, I mean, you know how oh, that yeah, worked out. That's right. So there is precedent for that, but the question is, Richard, and I've, I've followed this story extensively, and there's a lot of blind quotes, a lot of reporting in the New York Times saying that you know the Biden campaign, the Biden upper upper echelon circle believes that there's like rogue former Obama people pushing this to get him out. But yes, we all know that these. Politicians, they're narcissists. Would, would Biden's ego allow him? Two, two questions. Would Biden's ego allow him to drop out? And would Jill and Hunter allow him well, to drop see, out? That's the problem. They don't want him to quit. It reminds me of the Michael Jackson situation where they did everything they can to keep this guy propped up, full of drugs and so on, so he could perform, uh, all because he was paying the way for everybody he had. Uh, millionaire places and big cars and and so on and had their noses fixed and so on um, he was the meal ticket and they could not stand the fact that he might disappear which gave I, I would say vo a voice to some people who said when Michael OD'd it was intentional mm -hmm. I don't know uh, but again you've got the same thing you've got these so called hangers on who depend on Mr. Biden for their livelihood and they don't want him to quit because a lot of his, his inner circle his staff have been with him since his senate days sure and so you know if you you want to dance with the person that brought you to the party you got it and so well let's talk a little bit well also Richard real briefly we're seeing a lot of reporting that Mr. Biden that you mentioned the quote saying if uh, the only way I'll drop out is that the, they tell me I can't win that's right well there's been several polls that's right saying that he can't win 
That's right. And so the question is, those sycophants that he's got around him, are they maybe not giving him the information? Well, that's right. I mean, we don't... It's like the news in general here. Uh, when I talk to people who are still voting Democrat, I say, don't you know that what Trump did when he was president? No, I listen to CNN or CNBC or whatever. They're just simply not informed, and that could be the case in his case. That's right. Let's talk about his money. Uh, he's raised uh, so far over the campaign, both in hard and soft money, $260 million. Uh, check that, check that, check that. $240 million. He's got $91 million cash on hand. And we're going to talk about you know campaign finance extensively in the coming weeks. But what happens if he drops out? As far as my crack research staff has uh, provided me is that if he, Biden drops out and Kamala uh, runs, they get to keep all the money. That's what I understand, yeah. Because her name is on the paperwork, you know, That's right. for the campaign. But then you've got people who simply have opinions as to what would happen to that money. And to, to complicate matters, now you've got people uh, whose names escape me now who have pu publicly said, I'm not giving any more money. I've got a million bucks right here. Not giving any money to the Biden campaign until these guys figure out who in the hell is running. Reed Hastings, he's uh, one of the founders of Netflix, billionaire. Okay. He has said that publicly. Several other uh, members of the kind of the Hollywood elite moneyed class have said the same thing. And we had George Clooney right in yes, op-ed. Yes, yes. GC, what do you, I mean, he had this Democratic Party stalwart right in an op-ed. Well, I mean, obviously he didn't write it, but it's under his name. I mean, and he says calling for uh, Biden to step aside. But going back to the campaign finance, if apparently if if, if Kamala runs, she gets to keep all the money. If uh, someone else runs, not Kamala or Joe Biden, there's some debate about that. Exactly. The hard, the hard money, there's some debate about what they can do with that. The soft money, that, that can go anywhere because that's tied up into super PACs, and the super PACs you know, are not subject to any exactly. sort of scrutiny like that. So interesting to, to look at that moving forward. So, we're, Richard, your, your gut feeling, you've been right about a lot of things on this show. A few things, yeah. Where do you think the stance? Do you think, you, would you bet that Joe Biden will be on the ballot at the top of the ticket come this November? I think he will not be because I think finally— We've got now how many people? Fifteen people, uh, Democrats from 20. the House. Twenty. 20? Yeah. From the House of Representatives who are deathly afraid of losing their seats because of the so-called tail that uh, follows a president regarding whether or not he, he's going to make it or not. They think they will fall or they will sink with the ship uh, unless he allows someone else to run as the head of the ticket. Mm -hmm. And I think that eventually we'll talk um, Mrs. Biden and Hunter Biden. I think they're going to have to give sway. They may have to bribe them a little bit, give them a few bucks. But I think the— Well, I, I think that the Hunter probably—I mean, he wants a pardon because, I mean, he oh, was yeah. just recently sure. convicted of felonies. And, you know, I've heard reporting that Jill wants a book deal— I've heard reporting that yeah, they want to secure a, a couple billion dollars for their presidential library. They could do that, you know, next week. He could pardon. Uh, we ca you can. The president can pardon someone for anticipated yeah. crimes. Yeah. So he could do that next week. And that would be part of his concession speech, if you will, saying, I'm doing this for the for the country, not for myself, yeah. uh, but I must quit because I'm not feeling well, basically. Uh, well, that's what we figure out. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> it's, it's, we're kind of in historic times right now. It's kind of Absolutely. exciting. Absolutely. All right, stick around, you guys. We're going to talk about, if, if any of you listening out there ever had, uh, you know, gold bars hidden in your closet or cash, uh, we're going to talk about that situation. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You've heard, of course, that uh, Trump has offered Biden... Uh, they're going to both take a cognizance. Yeah, a million dollars. So it's, and they want also a golf match, apparently, too. So that'd be kind of fun we'll to watch. see how he does. Yeah, stick around, you guys. We'll be right back. Stay with us. No more mold. No more damage. No more outdated old bathroom. No more slipping and hurting. No more stress. Make your ordinary bathroom extraordinary for only $99 per month. New shower, new door, new tub, new wall, new anti-slip technology. Be stress-free. Call 800-973-5411. Be 
MCI Bath & Shower is made in America for the highest quality. Ask about our military and senior discounts. Your dream bathroom in as little as one day. First 50 callers save $1,500 on a never clear glass treated door. Call now for free premium color upgrades. 800-973-5411. Call BCI Bath & Shower, the leader in bathroom remodeling. Be smart, safe, and stay a step ahead of inflation with our interest-free financing options. Call 800-973-5411. Love your bathroom with free upgrades. Call 800-973-5411. 800-973-5411. Attention real estate investors. Do you need cash immediately? If you own one or multiple rental properties, you can use your equity to get cash out fast. The best part is we don't need tax returns or even a good credit score. At America's Loan Source, we are not a bank and we don't have bank rules. We make the decisions to loan you money and there's no limit how much we can give you. Some clients have gotten as much as $500,000 or more within days. Use the money any way you want if you own one rental property or a hundred and COVID has left you in a cash crunch we can help you turn your equity into fast cash call now for details and close in as little as 10 days and get the cash you need 800-353-1760 800-353-1760 800-353-1760 that's 800-353-1760 the Cotapalli Beach Resort Association is reopening and is welcoming guests. While some properties are opening sooner than others, all properties are taking reservations and we look forward to your return. Go to kaanapaliresort.com for all the latest and up-to-date information on what's happening at Kaanapali Beach. That's Kaanapali Beach on the west side of Maui. There's so much to do. With a short drive from Maui Airport, we're on the tropical side of Maui and offer breathtaking scenery, an incredible array of delectable dining, and activity choices to meet your needs. We invite you to visit Kaanapali Beach Resort, but please be sensitive to the devastation that our beloved Westside community has suffered. Lahaina is closed and will be for some time. Come to our open areas and support us as we adapt to a new way of life without our beloved Lahaina. Come visit the west side of Maui, Kaanapali Beach. Visit us online at kaanapaliresort.com. That's K-A-A-N-A-P-A-L-I resort.com. Back in Legal Lounge with some breaking news. Uh, we uh, just received reports here on social media that there's been a some sort of a situation, event happened at a Trump rally that's taking place in Pennsylvania right now. Shots were fired. We are not sure if that was at the president. Uh, I am looking at the footage right now. It seems that the president there was multiple shots were fired. President Trump was speaking at the le the lectern. He did not appear hit. Did not appear in his direction but he was quickly whisked away by the Secret Service. Uh, so we will be following the story moving forward, uh, monitoring this and bringing you any developments as they happen. So once again, uh, following reports of a, of a shooting event that has happened at a Trump rally in Pennsylvania, uh, just happened right now, about 10 minutes ago, he's been, uh, Mr. Trump has been, uh, uh, according to reports, I'm taking learning new details about what went down this afternoon in Washington. Here's I would assume report taking safely. Uh, uh, see, we have uh, Richard brought up some sound here. We are seeing. Uh, so we'll be monitoring this moving forward. So let's uh, get back to the show. All right, Richard, let's talk a little bit. And of course, we're going to be uh, if any uh, developments oh happen, we will let you know about this. Bob Menendez. Yeah, Bob Menendez, Senator Bob Menendez of New Jersey, has been uh, accused and tried of corruption. The jury is out, and uh, Richard I believes some of the facts of this case is that he received gold bars and cash and a Mercedes. And Mr. Menendez, Menendez has uh, started an interesting defense. Uh, I believe the one. I think he blamed it on his wife, right? Yes, he did. And also, he's saying it was it's the Cuban way, even though he was not born in Cuba. Uh, I guess he is of Cuban extraction. Um, that it's our way of because we we know the government of, of oftentimes 
comes into your home and confiscates everything, uh, and they don't trust the banks, uh, their easiest way to hide money is in the mattress, in your shoes, etc. And this is why he had all this money. But again, the media keeps playing all this money that he's got or had, uh, which means absolutely nothing unless they can make some kind of trace between that money and some kind of alleged bribery to uh, regarding some uh, people from Egypt. Uh, I don't think they have a case, and I think that's his position. Yeah, we've talked about you know camp, uh, uh, civil forfeiture laws. How I, I have a real big problem with that. Just because you got cash under your mattress does right. not necessarily mean you are guilty of a crime. That's and, right. Uh, Mr. Menendez, I, that was, I think, the very most interesting thing, too, is he says, oh, you know, as a, a son of Cuban immigrants, you know, we were, very, we were always worried about confiscation that happened when the Batista government fell and Castro took over. A lot of the elite's money was taken, their bank accounts closed, and so uh, he feels that, uh, you know, this, this is kind of a part of a what uh, uh okay folks i just want to circle back to uh this story that richard and i are following i want to bring up some sound here of this event that has happened uh in pennsylvania uh, apparently shots fired at a trump rally you, i'm gonna uh, go ahead and play really some sound see something to said take a look at what happened oh. Obviously. Okay, we are watching live. We do not know what is happening. We see Secret Service agents there with uh, p former President Donald Trump. This is at... There's the sound we had. Obviously, those anybody live who's got experience Butler, with uh, gunfire can recognize you, that as uh, the telltale sound of gunfire. It is according to all reports we're seeing President Trump, the Secret Service swiftly took action or removed President Trump from the venue. He appears to be okay and unharmed. Um, we will definitely be following this this uh, situation, this breaking news moving forward. Um, so, yeah, sorry if we sound a little bit disjointed, but it's always a little bit, uh, uh, well, it's terrible news to see, you know, it's violence. At, uh, and it's something that I and many other people have feared for some time. Yes, and I, and I wonder, especially now in the light of the fact that, you know, many people think that, you know, that Mr. Trump is a shoo-in to be reelected at this point based on Biden's dismal performance, that there would be some sort of unhinged person out there trying to take matters into their own hands. So as I said, we'll be following this moving but forward. But Mike, how does this happen? Well, I thought everybody was checked before they went into it. Now this was inside the the building. It was right? an outdoor rally. Outdoor oh, rally it, it looked, was outdoor. It looked like. And as we've seen, Richard, I mean President Trump, former President Trump, that is, garners such huge crowds, it makes it very, yes. very difficult to yes. screen all those people. So he's gonna have to limit himself to indoor rallies where everybody's checked. Yeah, absolutely. So all right, stick around you guys. We're a little bit frazzled, but we'll come back right after the break and we got a lot more to talk about. So we wanna talk about uh Alec Baldwin had a great weekend. Uh, and so we're gonna talk about that Yes. Savor the past and savor the glory days of Las Vegas. Enjoy 70 years of true Las Vegas history as four generations of family wait to greet you at the legendary Bootlegger Italian Bistro. Wine, dine, and experience Mama Maria's award-winning original recipes while surrounded by original family photos and celebrity memorabilia. Enjoy piano artistry nightly with music from the Great American Songbook in our main formal dining room. The Bootlegger Italian Bistro, open 24-7, 7700 Las Vegas Boulevard South. In the entertainment capital of the world, the Bootlegger Italian Bistro, open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 7700 Las Vegas Boulevard South, in the entertainment capital of the world. It's Vegas, baby. 
Are you ready to make a difference for the environment while helping the visually impaired at the same time? Then donate your vehicle to Heritage for the Blind today by calling 800-785-9618. Every donated vehicle will either be properly recycled in an eco-friendly manner or given a new life through reuse. Donating your vehicle is easy. Simply call 1-800-785-9618 and Heritage for the Blind will do the rest. They'll even arrange for your vehicle to be picked up at no cost to you. And for a limited time, when you donate your car, you'll receive a $200 restaurant voucher and a two-night, three-day hotel stay at one of 50 locations. Call 800-785-9618 right now to schedule your tax-deductible vehicle donation and make a positive impact on the environment while helping others. Heritage for the Blind, where every car donation counts and every person makes a difference. Call 1-800-785-9618 now. If Ernest Hemingway was alive today, would he say this to you? Shakespeare, Mark Twain, Edgar Allan Poe, all great writers. And after reading your book, I simply must add you to the list. Wait, you don't have a book yet. So make a free call to Page Publishing. Their expert staff can help you turn your book idea into a real book, a masterpiece that could someday make the bestseller list in hard copy and digitally all across the world. Page Publishing can help you completely take your idea for a book write it and publish it so if you want to join the ranks of some of the most famous authors in the world call now for a free information kit turn your book idea into publishing gold make a free call right now to page publishing 800-378-3212 800-378-3212 800 378 3212 that's 800 378 3212 Are you looking for a natural health solution to improve your mind and body? Greska's Carbon 60 is an all-natural oral dietary supplement that supports your body's optimal health and performance. Studies show that Carbon 60 helps eliminate inflammation, often the root of your health issues. One carbon-rich serving provides your body with a powerful antioxidant to help remove toxins and free radicals. Carbon 60 helps protect your cells from damage and promotes cellular regeneration experience the power of greska's carbon 60 and say goodbye to pain inflammation and fatigue call anytime at 720-600-6040 720-600-6040 or visit c-60.com that's c-60.com greska's carbon 60 go to c-60.com And we're back in the Legal Lounge. Of course, we are following breaking news here on the CRN Digital Talk Network. And, of course, the I'm seeing multiple reports. It's not been officially confirmed if those were gunshots heard at the Trump's rally. But, Richard, you were in the Army. That sounded like gunshots, didn't it? It did, but it's hard to tell how close those shots were to the microphones or where the microphones were. So that could have been shot, you know, a hundred feet away from him could have been a dispute in the crowd to a microphone somewhere i don't know uh it appears that the former president who was rushed off the stage is bleeding uh if to my eye ear yeah definitely i just saw the footage right there when he was pushed to the ground by the secret service detail he had an earpiece in connected to the master audio uh, i'm now seeing the president has been put in the car Secret Service agents with firearms drawn. He is in the car, and the car is on the move. He is bloodied, and I am assuming that's from the earpiece being ripped from his ear as he f- has, was put, put to the ground by the quick-thinking action of the Secret Service. Let me bring in some more sound here, Richard. Stand by as I get this queued up. This is some breaking news here. Stand by. Oh, I'm sorry, Congressman Garcia. Something has happened at the Trump... Oh, we see Donald Trump there uh, at a rally in Pennsylvania. You can see his face. Um, there's blood, blood coming from his ear. 
Not exactly sure what has happened, but those are Secret Service agents um, trying to pull Donald Trump off the stage. He's pumping his fists in the air. The crowd is chanting, USA, USA. Again, this is live. We're, yeah, this is live from a Trump rally in Pennsylvania, in Butler, Pennsylvania. Uh, former President Donald Trump, something happened, uh, clearly some kind of an attack. You see there clearly blood on his right ear as Secret Service push, try to push him into the SUV. Uh, earlier as we came on, you saw the former president pumping his fist in the air as the Secret Service agents tried to get him off the stage. Um, they have succeeded in getting him into um, the armored SUV. Um, they will be taking him, clearly, they will be taking him away from that scene. Um, and as, you know, we here at NBC News and MSNBC News will do extensive re extensive reporting to find out exactly what happened. But again, we're looking, you're looking at live pictures from Butler, Pennsylvania, where a Trump rally has come to an abrupt end after the former president was attacked, attacked. Uh, just watching the footage, this footage is absolutely amazing. You're seeing the former president raise his fist with a bloodied face uh, as he's escorted into the SUV. We see multiple Secret Service agents, guns drawn in Weaver stances. Uh, this seems to be, we are not sure what happened, if this was a possible assassination attempt, if this was a dispute between members of the crowd, if this was some sort of sick prank. Uh, but this is uh, quite amazing footage we're seeing here, Richard. And I just want to know your thoughts on this. I mean, this is something that, you know, the kind of divisiveness in this country, the amount of political violence we've seen. I mean, you were, you know, you were around in 1963, you're around in 1968, you're around in the uh, early 80s when there was two attempts on Ronald Reagan's life. What are your, just, what are your initial feelings right now well it's something that I've always feared I've talked to you amongst friends including yourself that he always runs the chance when he goes up to a group uh, that has not been uh, checked if you will in terms of having firearms that someone could decide to shoot him um, it's a terrible thing but in a free society uh, this is one of those things that um, we can't seems we cannot avoid. Um, my concern, though, was that once he was out of the picture, he I don't know whether he fell down or he was pushed down or he decided to mm -hmm. jump down in a sense. They seem to have a problem picking him up. Of course, he's a big man. I don't know how much he weighs, but uh, and maybe they didn't want to pick him up, but it seemed like he was down with the Secret Service and other people around him for some time. He was out of view anyway, and I wonder what that was about. Um, but apparently he, I, I'm going to guess that he was under his own power. I did notice that the Secret Service had him absolutely covered once he was leaving the stage. There was, uh, he was just covered, like I said, and uh, no one could have, I think, continued any kind of an assault against him at that point. I have a quote here from a senior government official that he told this quote to CBS News. Quote, the former president is safe. We have implemented protective security measure. This is being investigated uh, further. Uh, of course, uh, this is uh, in the wake of uh, regarding, sh and he is saying this senior at uh, CBS News, or at least CBS is reporting those, those were shots fired at the Trump rally. We're not sure whether or not this was uh, an attack uh, targeting the former president. Um, now we are seeing CNN reporting Trump injured at incident at rally. And I'm looking at just an iconic photo that I think will be in the history books of uh, an AP phot photographer got a shot of former President Trump wreathed with security, Secret Service agents as he's being, his face bloodied, an American flag over his head, his fist in the air, and defiance on his face. Uh, irregardless of what you think about former President Trump, and I've been critical of him, um, this is an iconic photo um, and just a truly kind of terrifying moment um, that, that this has happened. I'm, I'm sorry, if I, Richard, I apologize to you if I'm a little bit distracted by this news. I know No, that's okay. I'm distracted as well. We're doing this, sh this show talking about all sorts of interesting issues, legal issues, constitutional issues, also referring to Richard's fantastic book, American Illusion of Freedom. Uh, but uh, this, there is an illusion of freedom in this country if uh, 
people take use violence uh, as political expression. Uh, so we are going to go to a quick break right now, and we will keep you guys apprised about this. I'm seeing uh, already some uh, some statements by people on both sides of the aisle. Adam Kissinger, who's definitely uh, not a friend of Trump, uh, he calls this uh, despicable, and, uh, and violence has no place in our politics. So we'll monitor this and let you guys know if anything develops. Stick around, we'll be right back. If you've been injured in an accident that was not your fault, listen up. We have legal professionals standing by to answer your questions for free. Call now and find out if you have a case and how much it's potentially worth. Call 800-745-9090. I'm here with spokesman John Wolf. So, John, tell everyone listening who should call right now. Well, Maria, first off, thank you for having me here. It's always nice to answer the listeners' questions. Now, as far as who should call in, anyone who's been injured in an accident and think you deserve compensation, give us a call right now, 800-745-9090. You'll find out if you have a case and how much it's potentially worth. Thanks, John. You heard it, folks. Take advantage of this opportunity and call now, 800-745-9090. Advertisement sponsored by Legal Help Center may not be available in all states. These are the sounds of Colombo's Italian Steakhouse. Mm. Look at this ribeye. Did you see that ribeye? Fantastic. Ah, incredible. This is delicious. Sausage and lentil soup. Special today. Very, very good. Look at this garlic bread. Best garlic bread I ever had. And here's Vic Perino, owner and operator of Colombo's. A lot of the Italian recipes are my uncle's own recipes. We have a lot of people coming back for his hand-rolled lasagna. We make it basically from scratch. I think ours is exceptional. Here's Vic on what makes Colombo's is different than any other Italian restaurant. The other thing that sets us apart from other Italian restaurants is that we're an Italian steakhouse. We specialize in our steaks. Plus, there's more. They're coming for a lot of reasons to value. Their value per dollar that they're getting, plus coming into a neighborhood-friendly place. So, you know, sometimes we're actually accused of being the melting pot of Eagle Rock. Columbo's in Eagle Rock on Colorado Boulevard, 323-254-9138. Manja. Stand by, Richard, real fast. I want to get you in here. Apparently, you have some uh, some uh, uh, reporting here about what just happened in Pennsylvania. Well, yes, it looks like he was talking in his normal fashion, and uh, we heard several what sounded like gunshots, two, three of them, and suddenly he was down. Now, again, the question becomes whether he was simply reacting to it and dropped himself or whether, uh, you know, something caused him to fall. Uh, and then for some good length of time, uh, the Secret Service, I assume that's a Secret Service, uh, clustered around him and more or less kept him down. Uh, I kind of expected them to pick him up immediately, but of course that's just my uh, uh, observation. But they kept him down for some time, uh, maybe I guess to um, be able to check him out to make sure that he hadn't been seriously hit or hit at all and then what i found most amazing is when they finally got him up um he was a bit disheveled he had a, just a little bit of blood on the right side of his cheek 
and he was absolutely surrounded by these secret I, I believe secret service people and then there is a picture that i think you mentioned mike that he was defiant in his expression on his mouth and the fact that his fist was pushed out toward the crowd and eventually him the flag and his fist I imagine that photo, Richard, is unbelievable. Yeah, I imagine he's basically saying, F you, I'm going to continue. We have some of his first statements coming from President Trump right now. Uh, this is being reported by the Associated oh, Press. Oh, wow, that's great. The Associated Press, uh, Dateline, Butler, Pennsylvania. This is as of one minute ago from the Associated Press. Trump says he is, quote, fine in statement and says he is being checked at a medical facility. More, some more of the statements. This is Dateline, Pennsylvania, as of 28 seconds ago from the Trump campaign. President Trump thanks law enforcement and first responders for their quick action during this heinous act. He is fine and being checked out at a local medical facility. Uh, more details to follow. So uh, that's the uh, two reports from pro both President Trump and former President Trump's campaign, uh, Dateline, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is being reported by the Associated Press, which is one of the most trusted news organizations in the country, if not the world. Uh, we already see uh, responses from uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene just tweeted, said that someone tried to assassinate President Trump. Uh, I'm not going to read the rest of it because it's not confirmed, but uh, we should be uh, cautious about what we uh, take as fact right now. Uh, I just want to... Uh, Mike, you were really, really quick on this. Of course, I'm here, uh, in a sense, responsive to <laughs> your signals, if you will, as the producer of the show. Uh, and it was stunning that you saw, saw that when it was actually happening, I believe, and reported it, or at least uh, gave it to me as, as a co-witness, if you will. I appreciate that, Richard. Thank you so much. I want to apologize to you personally for, you know, kind of derailing the show here. I don't mind. You, you owe me no apology. I, I'm, as you know, I'm a pro, pro, pro Trump guy, and I certainly hope that, uh, hell, that this is not going to be the a la mode for the next four and a half years that he's going to be in danger yeah absolutely and uh you know this is why why kind of why i'm in this business is that you know when you witness history happen in real time it, it's uh you would want to get that out to the world we have a statement from the united states secret service quote date this is dateline uh pennsylvania of course this reporting is from i believe this is from fox news um uh, an incident okay this is a quote a statement from the secret united states secret service uh, an incident occurred uh, the evening of July 13th at a Trump rally in Pennsylvania. The Secret Service implemented protective measures and the former president is safe. This is now an active Secret Service investigation and further information will be released when available. That's from the United States Secret Service reported dateline from Pennsylvania by Fox News. Secret Service, um, no matter who is in, pre in office, this is their their sole responsibility, their sole focus is to protect the President of the United States and other members of the United States government and their families. Um, now we have a, uh, yes, that's the same reporting from the, the Secret Service. So um, this is interesting, this is historic. This will have reverberations. I think that iconic photo that both you and I, Richard, saw of Trump defiant, a curse on his lips, his yes. fist in the air with the American flag a flying above him um, you know, not to sound crass or to sound insensitive, but this will be immense in this campaign. I will imagine we saw what happened after uh, President Reagan was shot by John Hinckley, uh, where James Brady was seriously wounded and disabled in that shooting. His approval ratings, I know this is crass, but his approval ratings went through the roof. And I wouldn't be surprised yes. for this to uh, happen the same for uh, former President Trump. Uh, as I said, we are following this, this developing news story moving forward. Um, when I were seeing that uh, reporting to a dateline from Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, as of one minute ago, uh, White House says President Joe Biden has been received an initial briefing on an incident. Yes, at that um, I, I appreciate this comment from the Secret Service that the president is safe. I realize they're not doctors, but I, I would think that they probably had doctors in their uh, service. Uh, I'm more concerned, I, I appreciate the fact that he's safe, but my question is, is he injured yeah. or was he injured? 
Um, well, we see we see him, you know, with obviously with blood on his face. Now, yes. uh, my 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 con contention is is that that is damage from the earpiece, which was ripped from his head when he was right put to the ground. Um, but I, we need to see more confirmation about that. All right, we're, uh, here's our last break. Stick around. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Hey, this is Michael Medved wishing you a happy summer season. Now is the time to enjoy tea at GetTheTea.com. They're having their first ever semi-annual sale on all of their herbal cleansing teas. You buy two, you get one absolutely free. It's available in natural peppermint, pomegranate, and senna for an added strength cleanse. Go to GetTheTea.com. Make sure to enter the code MikeT, T-E-A, and receive free shipping too. Get the Tea is a USA-based, family-owned company. They also carry unique supplements that you won't find in stores. Allison, advanced for your immune system. Takedown for healthy glucose levels. Essential Bs and many more. Enjoy Get the Tea on ice, but order now. Go to GetTheTea.com. This is one of their best sales of the year. Don't wait. Buy two, get one free. That's GetTheTea.com. Enter the code MikeT, T-E-A, for free shipping. GetTheTea.com. Savor the past and savor the glory days of Las Vegas. Enjoy 70 years of true Las Vegas history as four generations of family wait to greet you at the legendary Bootlegger Italian Bistro. Wine, dine, and experience Mama Maria's award-winning original recipes while surrounded by original family photos and celebrity memorabilia. Enjoy piano artistry nightly with music from the great Great American Songbook in our main formal dining room. The Bootlegger Italian Bistro, open 24-7, 7700 Las Vegas Boulevard South. In the entertainment capital of the world, the Bootlegger Italian Bistro, open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 7700 Las Vegas Boulevard South, in the entertainment capital of the world. It's Vegas, baby. Attention real estate investors, do you need cash immediately? If you own one or multiple rental properties, you can use your equity to get cash out fast. The best part is we don't need tax returns or even a good credit score. At America's Loan Source, we are not a bank and we don't have bank rules. We make the decisions to loan you money and there's no limit how much we can give you. Some clients have gotten as much as $500,000 or more within days. Use the money anywhere way you want if you own one rental property or a hundred and COVID has left you in a cash crunch we can help you turn your equity into fast cash call now for details and close in as little as 10 days and get the cash you need 800-353-1760 800-353-1760 800-353-1760 that's 800-353-1760 and we're back in the Lita Lounge. Thank you once again so much for joining us. And of course, this is our last segment. And once again, I want to apologize to Richard for uh, you know going off script here. But this is breaking news. This is historic breaking news. We are following, of course, in a, a shooting event that took place at, in Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, it's no apology necessary, Mike. This is, this is exactly what you and the show should do in such a momentous event. Uh, indeed, immense. More uh, statements are coming out. Uh, Representative Eric Swalwell, obviously no fan of Trump, says political violence is never the answer, ever, ever, ever. What happened today is, is absolutely despicable. Matt Pierce, political writer for the Los Angeles Times. Horrific. What a nightmare for our country. Michael Reagan, uh, who I've met, who's a very nice man. Uh, son of, of, of course, the Gipper. Uh, been there. Prayers for Trump and Absolutely. his family. Absolutely. God bless. Uh, so now we are seeing uh, re reporting. Uh, for, this is from uh, ABC News. Former President Trump appears to grab his ear and drops to the ground on stage after possible shots are heard at rally in Pennsylvania. Um, of course, we have seen uh, uh, f former President Trump take into the car, uh, leave in the car, and now according to uh, the Trump campaign that he is, says he is fine 
and that he is uh, receiving medical attention and Secret Service have said too that they are conducting an investigation. President Trump, this is another, uh, just to circle back, another quote from the President Trump's campaign, former Trump, uh, thanks law enforcement for first responders for the quick action during the Saints Act. He is fine and being checked at a local medical facility. And I'm sure once that he will be in the car and then in the plane to get out of harm's way. Now, of course, the Secret Service's work is not over. They're gonna try to track this son of a bitch to see who, if, if it turns out that these were shots fired at the president, uh, they're going to have to find out who uh, this person or persons were and prosecute them to the fullest. Oh, you know, I, I saw it again now. He went like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, uh, But I haven't figured out the timing of the bullets, if you will, to when he went like this. He was still standing when he went like this. Oh, I'm looking at the footage now, too. I thought I, I thought that I'm going to go ahead and bring this footage up one more time with audio and see if I can hear the shots before that stand. All of this as uh, this all transpired, we were getting experience because we were in, in the middle of all of this as because uh, I was under the assumption that the earpiece off of the press rise, uh, he did seem to try to remove the earpiece the as the event the unfolded. Uh, um, and so I was under the assumption that 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 blood came from from his, him being kind of manhandled by Secret Service. Uh, I'm looking at the footage right now, stand by. We have, he's looking towards his, and he seems to, he seems to grab at his ear, actually, yeah. Richard. And not, not pull the earpiece, but to grab at his ear. So perhaps, I don't want to jump to any conclusions. He went like this, Mike. Yeah. This was his gesture. It was. Yeah, like, no. like, almost like he was, you know, like an insect or something like that. Right. And, you know, as anybody who's been around gunfire, um, when the, you know, when it's close, you know, you hear a, 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 a whiz. When it's really close, you hear the snap. And, you know, I don't want to speculate uh, on, you know, anything here. But obviously, you know, as you said, Richard, the Secret Service will investigate. They do have a, an, an amazing investigatory arm. And uh, I'm sure local law enforcement uh, will be involved as well. Governor Josh Shapiro uh, of Pennsylvania uh, has weighed in here. Uh, violence targeted at any political party or political leader is absolutely unacceptable. It has no place in Pennsylvania or the United States. Uh, Governor Shapiro has been briefed on the situation. Pennsylvania State Police are on the scene in Butler County and working with their partners in federal and local law enforcement. So, Richard, uh, we're out of time. you got about 20 seconds. Any last thoughts, sir? No, it's just a damn shame. And, of course, it's the price we pay for having... A free country, a country that the Constitution authorizes us to defend ourselves, and there are some in our society who choose to offend rather than defend, and this is one of the results of it. Very well said, Richard. Uh, Stay with CRN Digital Talk Radio for the Salem News at the top of the hour. I'm sure they're going to be covering this, and uh, we'll see you guys next week in the Legal Lounge. Take care.